It was the bloodiest day of the Kiev revolution. The massacre on Thursday, February the 20th. More than 50 men, armed mostly with sticks and shields, were shot down in the city centre. Today, after six weeks of investigation, the first official conclusions from the interim government. It's crystal clear that President Yanukovych and his close allies are personally responsible for these killings. The investigation into the shootings produced no great surprises, given that it is being run by the new government. But there are fresh details. The acting interior minister identified this group of riot police, called the Black Unit, which he said were responsible for a large number of deaths that day. That unit, which was operating on this embankment in the early stages of the shootings of the 20th of February, are accused of killing 17 protesters on the street below. Eight of them were killed with just one gun. But many protesters were shot by hidden gunmen who've not yet been identified. In the heart of the massacre was this 67-year-old man crouching behind a wall. He too was eventually hit. We tracked Oleksandr Tonskich down to the sanatorium where he's recovering. It wasn't clear where the shooting was coming from, he told me. I peered out several times, but I couldn't see. It was coming from the buildings. But there are clues still left on the street. Most bullets came from the same direction. And this video shows heavily armed officers preparing at the nearby security service headquarters that morning. Today, Kiev explosively alleged that Russia had sent intelligence officers and five tons of munitions to President Yanukovych during the crackdown, which even now has left this ancient city in shock. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, Kiev.